I'm Kurt Glazier, N7QJM. The last piece there was really great. We had a fun QSO with Tom, and uh, it definitely shows you several things that you can be doing on the amateur radio. One, having a nice conversation or QSO. Two, there are certain protocol or etiquette that you can actually use. When we exit the conversation, basically what we do is we basically end the call again with our call letters and we'll usually say 73s, which means uh, kind of a good wish, uh, good commendation, uh, so long, see you later type of uh, ending of the call. And that's how you actually end a QSO or a conversation where you typically talk and everything have, of course, uh, its own little symbology. And this is called rag chewing or talking back and forth, telling uh, about your lives and so on and so forth. So that's how a QSO goes. I also want to give you a demo quickly here as to some of the other types of signals that are used on the amateur radio bands. We're going to stay on the 20 meter frequency right now and expose some of these other types of frequencies, uh, or excuse me, not frequencies, but other types of signals that are used. Uh, there are uh, digital signals. There are FM signals, there are single sidebands signals as well, and then there are CW or the little continuous wave signal. Right now we also are going to look at facsimile signals and hopefully we'll give you a quick listen for a few seconds on that so you can recognize what that sounds like. Let's try that right now. That's a, uh, that's a facsimile signal right there that's going back and forth. You can send and receive facsimiles across amateur radio as well as uh, slow scan TV. That can be done as well. So let's see if we can pick up one of those next. Scan TV right here. It has that oscillational type of sound. Ticka -ticka 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 -ticka, that kind of sound. You can hear it. That's slow scan TV. Now we also have uh, FM frequency as you can see right in here you can look at it you might be able to see that part right in there probably not but at this frequency range you also have uh, FM frequency modulation broadcast N7QJM broadcasting on FM anybody out there CQ 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 from N7 Queen Japan Mexico on FM over it doesn't seem like we're picking up anybody, but that's the FM frequency. Next, the other thing is the chart that we showed you a little while ago, the color bands on that. And you can also find those online, which basically gives you the frequency bands that you can be using and tells you what type of signals you can send and receive in those portions of the amateur radio bands that you operate with. That does it for this section. Join us again next time for more adventures on amateur radio. This is N7QJM73s.